an actual sport without judges? That's right, the players themselves are judges, as this game is built completely on trust and honesty. The heroes of our program will tell our viewers what ultimate frisbee is. So let's go catch the frisbee. Hey, what are your names and what are you going to tell us about today? I'm Vlad. My name's Mitro. And I'm Anna. We're going to tell people about Ultimate, which is a sport that we often play and love very much. An important feature of Ultimate is that it is a non-contact sport, and men and women can play on the same team, which is called Mixed. There is a federation of this sport in Ukraine that represents the interests of athletes. It was formed by players themselves, and we also have clubs in almost all major cities of Ukraine. Three reasons to play Ultimate. The first reason is the challenge, the second is the people, and the third is the spirit of the game. It gives you the ability to keep yourself in good physical shape, the second is communicating with people, and the third is because it's a lot of fun. The first reason is physical training, the second is the dynamics of the game, and the third one is because it's loads of fun. This is the main piece of equipment in our game, a frisbee. There are three main ways to throw the frisbee. Backhand, forehand, and hammer. I started playing Ultimate about seven years ago. A friend of mine is one of the first players in Ukraine. He played for the very first clubs we had. He invited me a long time ago, but I didn't really like it. To be honest, because they made me a handler and didn't pay much attention to me. But I was with that movement all the time. I took photos, as I was into photography, and I made reports from different tournaments. Later, at some point in 2011, I realized that I simply was overweight and had to exercise. It was off-season at the time, and the guys were hitting the gym in winter and early spring, and I decided to join them. I liked it because I worked really hard back then, and I needed it to restore my physical shape. Then I got into the sport itself, went to a tournament and enjoyed it very much. I've been engaged in this sport for 10 years now. I started in the summer of 2008. My ex-boyfriend introduced me to this sport. He left the sport, but I stuck with it to this day. I really like the dynamics and especially the people because of the communication within our team and with our rivals. They are great people with a broad outlook, and that's probably the most valuable thing we have in this sport. 
Как для девушки это шикарный спорт, потому что It's a great sport for women. I really enjoy the fact that this form of sport requires endurance. I have to force myself to attend training sessions four times a week, and I also have to go to the gym to do physical workouts. I've been playing Ultimate for slightly more than three years. My friend, who's now playing for the Kyiv team Gamble, introduced me to this sport. I was skeptical about it, but in the end we went to throw some frisbees, and I got hooked on it. I looked up this sport on the internet and saw the team Nova. When I came to a training session, I was really fascinated by the atmosphere. Secondly, I liked the enormous physical loads, which I could not handle at first. After some time and effort, I improved in my workouts and started to get a better grasp of the spirit of the game. We were working on our physical shape. There were a lot of basic tactical things we started with. We were working on our throws. I got lucky that I joined a team that was just starting to develop. So there were a lot of newcomers at the same level as me. We learned primitive tactics. All participants studied their first tactics, while some learned strategy. So that's probably why it was so easy for me to get into the sport. To be honest, it was really hard to force myself to run that much and at such speeds. I was constantly running out of breath. That's what hindered me from the very beginning, because I never liked running and picking up my speed at a high pulse all the time. The hardest thing for me was probably forcing myself to go to these training sessions, knowing all well that the trainers would try their best to squeeze all the juices out of me and push me to the limit. We must be prepared for any conditions. There is a rule that if we train on a lawn and rain starts to fall before the training session, then it can be cancelled. But if we've already begun training and then it starts raining, then we stay and train until the very end, no matter how heavy the rainfall is. The boys always helped us, told us what to do and what we did wrong. They still do it now, because boys are more capable in sports and they are better at tactics. I can say that our sport has evolved and women's ultimate in Ukraine as a whole has considerably developed over 10 years. Roughly speaking, it was just the beginning of ultimate in Ukraine 10 years ago, and when we went to a championship in Italy, we were rather chubby girls. But now we stick to our diets, work out a lot, and cannot let ourselves go to international competitions in poor physical shape. It was just an amateur hobby back then, but today I think it is as professional as it gets. I had basically no difficulties in the beginning. I was proficient at running, I was pretty fast, and I had quite a high level of endurance. But I wasn't good at throwing the frisbee, so I played in the position of a cutter. Today, I have progressed to the position of a handler.
It was very difficult at first due to the intense loads of physical training. So I could not immediately get into the rhythm and groove. I needed three or four months to adapt, and then everything went really well. Also, this is thanks to the physical loads and tactics of our captains, who analyzed every championship and gathered a team meeting to discuss everything in detail. Two years later, I made it to the national mixed team, which defended our country at the World Championships in France. We prepared as follows. We had to spend six to eight hours practicing throws. And do physical exercises three days a week. One of the coolest things I like about Ultimate is tournaments. In addition to the Championship of Ukraine, about 10 different competitions are held annually, which we attend just for fun. The most significant championship for me was the 2012 World Championship in Japan. I have competed in four World Championships in total. Last year we went to France as part of the Ukrainian national team, and it was a really cool experience, because we had boys and girls playing on the same team. I remember the tournament in France really well. It was a world championship. Why was it memorable? Because of the incredibly good teams. There were players of the highest level who don't even give you a free centimeter to catch the disc. There were things to learn from watching the entire game, and it was quite an incredible experience. Is there a community of Ukrainian athletes? Yes, we have a community outside of the sport and sports events. We meet up sometimes to catch up on things, because we've known each other for a long time, and we have common interests. It's a cool game. Of course, I recommend it to everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for being with us. We hope you like our sport and see you at our next training session.